Hey guys, it's Jasmine here with another to read vlog. Um, I had an absolutely amazing month of books last month. I read so many good books and I wasn't in a reading slump, but I was reading really slow and all of the books that I read last month really got me out of that. I started reading like how I normally would be reading and so I was uh, really happy about that. And um, I got some books like on the day they came out on their release day that I couldn't really include in my last vlog so I thought I would include them in this one. It looks like there's about five of them and they're all really really good books so I'm gonna show those to you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna start with The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Um, this is the second book in the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer series. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, it was so good. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I loved it even more than the first one. It was amazing. I'm so glad I got it. So good. Okay, I have a lot of books. I'm going to try and go fast. Beautiful Redemption by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stroll. Stroll? I'm pretty sure that's how she says it. Um, this is the last book in the Castor Chronicles series and it was so good. I'm really sad it's over though. I cried. It was I'm pretty sad. I mean, it's one of my favorites. But the movie's coming, so I still have something to be excited about. Finale by Becca Fitzpatrick. Um, this is another last book in the Hush Hush Saga. And oh my god, it was so good. It was so good. I loved it. It probably was my favorite in the series. It was so good. It wrapped up the series so well. And it was really, really good. And this is what I was doing yesterday. It's Diety by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I know. I read it like all day yesterday and today. I was so excited for it. And I went to get it on the bookstore day. It came out and they didn't have it. So I had to order it. And I had to wait for it to come. But I read it yesterday and I loved it. Oh my gosh. It was so good. It's another one of my slowly becoming the favorite in the series. It was amazing. And like I still have my bookmarks in it. But yeah. And most of those, some of those have reviews. Diety should have one coming up soon. And then today, I went and got reached. Because it was its release day. Um, it was by Ali Condi. And it was so, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm not even joking. I'm so excited to read this one. And that's what I'm going to do all day tomorrow. And I'm just going to dedicate, like, all day to it. And I'm so excited. And it's so big. It's the last book in the Match series. And I've been waiting so long for this book. So long can't wait to read it okay gotta speed up don't want this to be a really long video okay so then this is my to read stack those are all the books that i read last month or that i got and couldn't include so we're gonna start with the raven boys by maggie seafather um i bought this one the other day or a couple weeks ago at the bookstore because i've been waiting for it and it came out a while ago and i never got it but i love maggie seafather so i can't wait to read this one and i know it's gonna be amazing Wake by Amanda Hawking. This is an arc, but th I'm pretty sure this one's already out, and it's so pretty. Look, at it's so pretty. It's pretty. Even the, fin the finished copy is even prettier because it has, um, you can flip the cover around, and it has a different cover, and it's so cute. But, um, I can't wait to read this one, and I haven't read anything by this author, but, I mean, I really, I just can't wait. I've heard so many good things, and the cover is so pretty, and I'm just, I can't wait. Then we have, um, Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. Um, I don't really know much about this book, but, um, I got it at one of the conferences, and it's an ARC, but it's already out. Oops. And, um, I just, I know, I've heard some good things. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but I know it'll be good. So, I'm excited to read it. And then we have Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by, um, David Leviathan and... Rachel Kahn. Um, I wanted to read a book by David Leviathan, and this is just the one that sounds the coolest to me. I'm going to read every day if I can ever buy that one. I'm really excited for that one, too. But, I mean, this one just sounded good, and it sounded cute, cute contemporary, so I'm going to read that. And we have I Hunt Killers by Barry Liga. I keep moving this one around. I should just read it. It's probably because it's scary, and I never read scary books, but I should just, just read it. It's going to be good. I know it's going to be good. And I'm going to like it because it's not something I normally read. I just have to stop moving it around and stop being scared and just read it. Read it. I'm going to read it. I promise. We have The Great Unexpected by Shern Creech. I hope that's how she says her name. This is the middle grade and I put it after I had killers because I knew I was going to be scared from that. And I was just going to need something 
to calm me down. Nice, calm, middle grade. It looks really cute. Um, it's an arc, but it's already out. All oh, my arcs are already out. I'm trying to get rid of read and read all the books from the conferences that I got so that when I go to, con to TLA and ALA annual, then I will have lots of room and I'll have finished them. I don't want to go and have still have books from the last ones because that's just not smart. Okay, we have The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. Um, this is a really popular book and I hadn't really heard of it, but I heard somebody talking about it, so I looked it up and it looks really good and I know it's a favorite of a lot of people, like a big favorite, so I know it's going to be good. I can't wait to read it. We have 13 to Life by Shannon Delaney. Um, I've had this one forever and I just, I never read it and it looks really cool. I don't know why I never read it, but I really should read it. So I'm going to read it and then I'm going to get the rest in the series and I'm sure I'm going to love it and the cover's really cute. And I shouldn't have had it for so long, I never read it, but I'm going to read it. And then we have The Catastrophic History of You and Me by Jess Rothenberg. Um, I know they changed the cover for this, but this is an arc and it's already out. And it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a contemporary, but um, I'm not sure. But it looks really good and it looks super cute and the story sounds really sad. But I mean, I'm sure I'll love it. I need a contemporary in my life. So, I'm excited for this one. There's only three more, guys. Only three more. Okay. The Forsaken by Liz M. Stassi. I don't know how she says that. But, um, this, I saw the trailer for this one, and it looked so good. So good. And the cover is really cute, and I'm really excited. The story sounds amazing, so I cannot wait to get to this one. And we have another contemporary, While He Was Away, by Karen Shrek. Is that how she says her name? I don't know. But, um, I saw this one in the bookstore, and I was just, I was at the bookstore, and I didn't want to leave without something, so I picked it up. It's a small, short contemporary, and I'm sure I'm going to like it. It's probably going to be sad, because it's about the army, I think? Something like that. But it looks really good, so I'm excited for that. And the last one we have is the Book of Blood and Shadow by Robin Wasserman, and I've had this one for a while, and I wasn't really sure what it was about when I picked it up, but I mean, it looks good, so I'm excited to read it, and I've heard this author is really good. It has a cool cover, so I'm sure I'm going to like it. Wow, I got through all of them. Okay, that's it. That's all of them. It's going to take me forever to read all of those books, but they're all going to be good. Um, keep an eye out for my reviews, and if you've read any of those, leave a comment and tell me. If you like them or if they were good and if there's anything on here that you want to read, leave a comment. I want to hear from y'all and um, leave links to your own to read posts or vlogs or whatever you guys do. And yeah, bye guys.